This week, I sat in an AutoZone parking lot and cried for 10 minutes straight because I couldn't change a headlight, which sounds like a lead up to a terrible stand-up routine, right? One where the joke is always on me. Like, haha, I ate half a bag of pretzel M&Ms at 11.30 in the morning in bed. Or I've watched the pilot of Gossip Girl 10 times in the past two weeks because I keep falling asleep halfway through because being sad is a goddamn joke sometimes. My headlight went out, my first thought was, seems right. I couldn't change it by myself because I'd have to take off the whole bumper or something. I thought, of course, or I wish I was dead. Being this kind of sad is funny that way. No inconvenience is a minor inconvenience. It's all the end of the world or might as well be. My brain is dramatic like that. Depression is a silent film, a monologue shot underwater. Depression is sulking because I won't talk to it anymore, by which I mean about it. There are some days when I am so sad I don't remember what it's like not to be. Like when you have a bad cold and you forget how to breathe through your nose and you're so sure you'll never breathe through your nose again. <laughs> and I'm so sure I will never feel joy again. Except when you have a cold you can call in sick to work and people tell you to get well soon and there's a whole soup genre dedicated to your well-being. <laughs> I can't call in sad to work can't go to the grocery store and go to the sad aisle, which would only have like already stale popcorn and tea your best friend swears is good for you. So sometimes all I can do is laugh. If I don't, there might be nothing left. There's a crack in my bathtub in the shape of the Platte River, and I know this because I sit on the floor of my shower so often it's become a permanent imprint in my thigh. I'm here because I've been sad since graduation, not this one, the one before that, or maybe I have a bad cold, or maybe it's both, but the cold makes the most sense for sympathy purposes. If I get out, I have to be a person again. Have to put on clothes, put lotion on my legs, eat a bowl of cereal at least, take care of this terrible body that refuses to take care of me back. I'm so tired of talking about my depression as someone else a ghost that haunts me and I am afraid of the seance, afraid of what it might want from me. My depression doesn't ask for much, but when it does, it's something I cannot give, and that's the joke. It's just me asking for something I cannot give. I ask to come back to my body, and it's only me saying no. When people ask me how I am, they might as well be asking where I've gone. I'm driving down a dirt road. No headlights when it curves, I will not know. Just drive on into the field. My own voice playing on the radio telling me there is no place for me here. <laughs>